The following segment is sponsored by Utah Olympic Park. Thanks a bunch of you guys. You know, this month I'm actually celebrating my 11 year anniversary at KUTV and in the great state of Utah. And being a sportscaster, one of the things I feel like I've always missed out on was being a part of the 2002 Olympic Games. Well, up here at the Utah Olympic Park, you can relive it, see all the relics in their glory and, and really enjoy the facilities. And it's so cool to see the way that all the things that were built for those games have been repurposed. This is just nuts. And uh, it, the next generation of aerial freestyle competitors is right here. Absolutely, you see our kids in our Park City Ski and Snowboard program going down the jumps right now into our 1.25 million gallon no Eccles freestyle pool. So it allows them to train during the summer. They don't have to go chasing snow all over the world. They can stay home, stay in their backyard, stay in their own bed and come here and train every day. And Cole has been a phenomenal tour guide today. We've seen literally every inch of this mountain and all the activities that you can take part in. What a fun thing for families to get out of experience. Not just families that are passing through town. We've seen a lot of different license plates here today, but right down in the Utah Valley, people need to get up and see this. Absolutely, get up, come see us, beat the heat a little bit during these crazy summer days that get super hot in the valley. So much to do. If you're not as adventurous, you don't like the adventure activities, you can come out here, sit poolside all day. It's completely free to watch the athletes train. And again, we've been dealing with, uh, with heat conditions that are abnormal to the state of Utah this summer. It's a little bit cooler up here. The air is clean. There's a nice breeze. And let's just kind of recap all the activities that we did. Oh man, so let's just go through the whole list. We've got extreme zip line, freestyle zip line, extreme tubing, alpine slide, three different ropes courses, a drop tower, airbag jumps. So we're talking, there's so many things that you can do, so many age ranges that can do them. So it really is a place where the entire family, from the young kids to grandma and grandpa can come up. You can go through our museums. We have two museums that are absolutely free to the public, nine to 6 p.m. every single day. I'll tell you what, Cole, one of the things that has been truly eye-opening for me here today all of these facilities were built around winter sports, winter activities, and, and really, it's a winter landmark here, here in our country, a place that hosted the, the Olympics in the wintertime. And I keep saying winter because we're enjoying it in the summertime. Yeah. It's mind-blowing to me still. It's, a, it's part of our plan as the Utah Olympic Legacy Foundation. It's part of the legacy of the games. It's for us to find unique and different ways to allow our athletes to train in the best environments possible. And you're seeing that right behind us now. Okay, and you've given people really interesting and unique ways to find out information about this. You guys have a terrific website where people can find rates, all the activities, just maybe one more time explain where people can find all that yeah. information. Head to utaholympiclegacy.org, you can read a little bit about our history as a foundation, a little bit of history of the games, and you can also purchase tickets for any of these activities. Okay, what about if families get hungry or thirsty? We've got some snacks for you definitely in our gift shop. Okay, tell me about the museum too. What, what kind of historic relics am I gonna be able to see in there? So on the first floor is our Alfangen Ski Museum. It's kind of the, the history of skiing in the Intermountain West. Also what makes our snow the greatest snow on earth. There's some interactive displays that'll allow you to kind of see what the moisture content is of our snow versus other snow. And then on the second floor is our 2002 Olympic Winter Games Museum. So you see all the memorabilia from the games, the opening ceremonies, and even some stuff from like, you know, skates to hockey sticks to even picking up a curling stone to see just how heavy they actually are. Sounds like so much fun. You've done a terrific job. Thank you so much for your oh, hospitality. For this has been one of the best road trippings that we've done. My favorite thing about this summer, all the activities I've been able to see, it truly opened my eyes to this stuff that is right in our backyard. Thanks, Cole. Now you're welcome. <laughs>